Hi guys, Red Ruby here again. Uh, this video is about my thoughts on Persona 5 um, after beating the game and everything like that. Um, anyway, here are my thoughts. I I'll try to keep it spoiler free, but I thought the game was pretty damn good. Um, oh, it's so good. I like the combat system and how like everything looks. Like, if you've seen Persona 4 Golden, it did not look like a comic strip. It looked like. I wouldn't want to say Japan, but, um, I don't know, it's not Japan, but, um, more like a regular, like, paperback book or whatever, like a book design or whatever, but this one, like, this Persona 5 looked like a comic book strip. It was pretty freaking cool, and, um, I like how they also based it off of Paris mythology, because I know, like, like, if you're in a loading screen of the game where it, like, like, say you went to sleep, right? And you, like, uh, you see that calendar thing where it tells you, like, which month and date you're on. And it, it throws a dagger on which, like, date you're, like, date of the month you're on. And it shows, like, the city in the background with, like, a tall building in the back that looks like Paris. Paris is Eiffel Tower. I thought that was pretty cool. And the the social link of the game instead of having like uh for example the priestess in the number two it on the bottom it has i think it i believe it has the number two on the top of the tarot card in a different design and it says le something it's it's french i don't remember it but i know that's paris mythology and i know that's paris uh french because i i uh i put i took french in 10th grade so I like I know stuff, and I like the I like the uh, the protagonist of the Persona game. He shares some qualities of both three and four. Like for example, Makoto Yuki from Persona Three, or Minato Arisato, or Minako Arisato. Minako is not canon, but Minato um he share he shares some qua some traits with him because of um. You know how, like, say you wait for a certain um, period, like, a certain amount of time uh, without him, you know, like, moving, and he'll put his hands in his pocket? Well, the uh, the main antagonist, I mean, protagonist of Persona 5 also does the same thing. He's also shared, he also shares, like, like from both of them, uh, Akira, the manga name uh, of the protagonist, he, uh, what he gets from both of them is, like, their calm and composed nature, you know, and they're silent, which is obvious, of course. But at least in this one, he has a few cutscenes in the game where he talks, and it's pretty cool, it's awesome. I have never seen a, a, a protagonist in Persona 5, uh, I mean, in Persona in general so far that, like, talks in a cutscene. It's pretty cool. Um... Well, the combat was really cool too. I like how they had different buttons that like have that are like connected to certain commands too. It is pretty cool. Um and the personas are pretty cool too. I especially love Arsene or for any of you who are like who are, who know French or like are subscribed to me who are French, uh please forgive me if I say this persona's name wrong. Or this name wrong, but I believe it's Arsene. Arsene, yeah. Uh, it's supposed to be French, but I think it's Arsene. Xander Mobus, in, in an interview for Atlas, says he calls the, per, the protagonist's persona Arsene. But I'm not sure if that's right, so please forgive me on those names. I like the personas. Um, my only problem with the personas is, is that, like, for example, uh... Like it, like in all games, you can get um, you can get a person's uh persona to their second form or whatever. Mm -hmm. My problem is, is that uh, like in Persona Four, you know, regardless of whether they got like the second or third form, like for example, Yosuke, even though he like for for, to, for example, like immediately once he got Jiraiya, he'll say, "Come, Jiraiya." Or, um, or, um, let's do this, or something, persona, and then, um, and then, for example, Anne, and her persona, 
uh, her persona is Carmen, if you guys didn't know. Uh, she'll say, dance, Carmen, or whatever. But when she gets, once I got her persona to her second form, uh, she didn't, uh, say, you know, dance, blah, 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 unless I was delivering a critical hit or hitting the target's weakness or whatever, which bothers me. And I couldn't under, I couldn't even pronounce the goddamn name. Like, uh, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, Ann has this, uh, persona, like, her second, uh, persona's form is really creepy looking, and its name is really hard to pronounce. I'm not gonna spoil the name for you guys. I want you guys to figure that out yourself, or find it out for yourself. Um, yeah. And, um, I like, uh, one of the th many things I like about this game, too, is that, um, you know, like your social status chart or whatever, like you have five sides with a certain like skills or whatever. In Persona 4, it wouldn't show how much like you needed to pro progress onto like level two of that uh, social stat or whatever. In Persona 5, it shows you on the star. Uh, the protagonist's social stat like shape is a star, which I think is pretty cool. Um. And I like how, in the game, like, you know how Persona 4 takes place in, uh, Inaba? Well, this one takes place in Tokyo, but Inaba was so small that, um, I, I really didn't find, like, a lot of places to go to. But in Persona 5, since it takes place in Tokyo, uh, you know, it, it shows a lot more, it's a lot more diverse. There's, it, there's more areas around. You could do more with your, uh... With your conf- with your- oops, I almost said the word. Uh, with your social links, you could, uh, take- Like, say you want to go out on a date with a girl or whatever in the game. Uh, you could take them to different places or whatever. You could take them to chill. Um, and I like how they added more, like, variety uh, to the girl- Like, to the relationships or whatever for the- for the girls. Um, I will say this to Atlas, though. Um... I would love it if they would make a, like, a canon female for protagonist because, I mean, in a, in a male-dominant society, there should be at least another game like Bayonetta or, like, Ruby that has a, a female hero. And, um, but it would be cool if that would happen in a Persona game like they did for Persona 3 Portable. It should be preferred Persona 5, except you can romance Ryuji now, or Yusuke, you, or, uh, what's another guy's name? Uh, you can't romance a cat, what the freak? Um, you could romance Ryuji, um, Ryuji, um, not Morgana, Yusuke, uh, uh, I, uh, I won't say his name. Uh, but any other guy, or, yeah, any uh, of the guys that are in the game, um, that would be great. Um, yeah, if you guys are wondering who is my favorite character on there, I'm kind of stuck, because, um, I really loved On, but I also loved Makoto, if you guys have seen the character trailer, uh, the character, uh, the character trailers, um, yeah, if you guys have seen it, um, Futaba is okay. My only problem with her is that she likes green, and I really don't like green. I'm a red or black. I, I love red, black, blue, purple, and white, and that's it. And gold, I, I, sh I forgot to say. Uh, those are, that's my only problem with Futaba. She's great. Uh, she's a navigational person like Fuka and Risei-san. But my only problem with her is that she loves green, and I do not like green. Um, but yeah, An and Mikoto are my two favorites. Um, my favorite character from the guy side, though, would have to be the protagonist. He's pretty dope, um, especially Persona-wise. And if you haven't beat the game, um, you won't know why I said that. Um, but yeah, the game was really fun, and I like how they had, like, uh, like, you know, in Persona 3, they had, like, strike attacks, or pierce attacks, or slash attacks? 
Well, they didn't have it in this game, but I do like it how they have, like, uh, up close and personal melee weapon. And then they have ranged weapons and stuff like that. It was pretty cool. And you could customize the guns in the game. It was pretty dope. Um, I liked it. Uh, I love it a lot. And what else did I like? Uh, I'm trying to think because there was so much I like and I don't want to go into it without spoiling anything. I really don't want to spoil anything for you guys, especially if you want to buy it for yourself. Um, I like. I also like how the dungeons in this game are really long and you really feel like a thief when you're in them. You feel like Rouge the Bat from <laughs> from Sonic. Um, yeah, that's uh, that was pretty cool. The pal like the dungeons in this game are pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I think that is it. If you guys, um, I'm posting this directly after the Persona Five discussion about uh, Atlas banning uh, stream streaming for it. So, I mean, if you guys haven't checked that out, it comes after, it comes before this video. Um, thank you guys for listening or taking your time to watch this video. And I, will, I think I'll post one more video because I haven't posted in a while. Um, but I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.